All right, here we have a 2000 Ford Explorer XLT. Um, this is definitely something I've been wanting to film for the channel for a while. And I actually went to go pick this up for the car lot. Um, it drove here pretty nice. I actually really like this. Uh, let's take a look at it. So since the XLT is kind of the lower trim, I don't know if they made a Ford Explorer XL in this era. I know the original Ford Explorer had an XL trim, which had like, you know, the base model trim. I think this is base model on these, but I'm not exactly sure. Um, this is like the second to the last year of the second gen. Has the keypad here. And it's got power windows, power locks, leather seats that are actually in pretty good shape aside from this one. Um, unlock all the doors. But anyway, let's start her up. got almost no gas and I drove it when it had a quarter of a tank all the way back from I don't know it was a couple miles but it drove here just fine on a quarter of a tank of gas which I was surprised with 196,000 miles it's got this tape and CD player and uh, what do you call that rear defrost I don't know what this is, but it has it. It's got a cigarette lighter. It's not a, it's a two-wheel drive model. The radio does work. And the AC actually works in this. And it actually feels pretty nice. You got your auto lamp mirror, which is not wanting to focus. There we go. the way the light on it. It has a compass up here, but it's not working. Neither is that. It has a sunroof, which does work. You got your, you can record stuff. Like, Dale Baby, Dale Baby. Dale Baby, Dale Baby. That's cool. But anyway, it's got that. It's got double visors, which is nice. The headliner's kind of rough looking. I imagine there's a leak around the sunroof somewhere. But the AC works pretty good. The buttons on the steering wheel have decided to delete themselves, but I'm sure they still work. Um, typical Ford thing. You got the big center console with a bunch of change in it. I guess that's... I don't know what that's for. There's two cup holders. I guess it'd be like a storage tray. More storage trays. Turn that down. You got a light bulb in there. Airbag. Let's take a look in the back. Let's take a look under the hood too. Turn the flashers on. No, that window does not work. I forgot about that. I'll have to fix that later. But yeah, power windows, power locks. You got your lock player for that. Power mirrors, which do still work despite being broken. Not really much rust on this. The back seat. And the dashboard. It's actually very roomy back here. Back window does work. You got rear AC climate controls, which would probably be easier to see with the door open. You got Oh, that's for the radio. 
fan speed. So that's cool. Comes out here. We got cup holders. That's neat. Power windows back here. Your typical Ford Ranger dome light. I remember those a lot when I was a kid. This is actually pretty nice. The only thing I wish this had was a armrest here, but with it being the smaller trim, I don't expect much. But it runs pretty good. We'll get a shot of the engine here. This has a 4 liter V6, which from what I understand is kind of hit or miss. There's the freaking hood. Hold on, let me figure this hood out. You got it open. There's your single overhead can 4 liter V6. Turn away. Belt diagram. Got an, a newer battery in it. That's where the hood thing was. I thought it was right there. But yeah, it's a pretty nice running vehicle. I hate to say it, but I really almost considered trading my car for this. But I, I mean, I really do love that Oldsmobile. But this would be a good candidate for a trade-in. I'm not gonna lie. I'll turn those off. The wipers are right here. Get the brakes. No. Yeah, does the cigarette lighter work? I don't know. Has this mount for a GPS? Remember those? Ow, god dang. It does work, I believe. Shot it right at me. But yeah. There is your 90 or 2000 Ford Explorer. Fours in their weird key thing. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And have a good one.